What's up, friends? This is Jazz bringing you another better, f worse vlog number 63. And finally, after a week away, I'm getting back to them. And the fur I have two strips, you know, well, three, but two new strips. And the first strip is from January 4th, 2013, but it was also released on. January 5th, 1984. What are you laughing at? At least I'm going to a fitness class. You're just sitting at home getting tubby. Oh, no, you don't. I'm fine. You can't be make, make me feel guilty. Good. He feels guilty. Well, that, there's not really much for me to say on that. I mean, John is being a little... Well, actually, he is laughing, I think, at the uniform and not the fact that Ellie is overweight. So, I guess I could give that a pass there. But I feel it's funny because John probably does start to feel... Shows later, he does start to feel a little more... What is it? Self-conscious. That's it. After what Ellie said. Like, he says, oh, I'm fine, right? And it's funny because sometimes people won't notice their weight, whether they're thin or they're overweight, unless someone brings it up. It doesn't always, some people, it doesn't bother them unless it's brought up by other people. Like for me, for the longest time, I didn't really care about my weight. Like without being brought up. And even when people brought it up, it wasn't always my biggest concern. I was just, well, that's the way I am. Lately, though, not that I was self-conscious about my looks in the weight department. It was more that I wanted to be more healthy, right, for my actual health. Like, especially with my stomach, maybe what I'm eating or taking in, whether it's too much or, or the wrong foods is affecting my IBS more. So I've been trying to be a little more conscious conscientious, you know, about that, but not necessarily my weight. Actually, in the process, I am losing weight. I literally lost about 50 pounds for, since 2018. So, I was from 180 something to 130, so I have lost weight, and it shows to a degree. But even then, for my height, that is still considered overweight. So the thing is, you can never really always win it. Like, because even if you go and lose a whole whack of weight, sometimes you'll go too far. You can be too thin, too. Now, guys, I'm not saying that the look is bad, right? I'm not saying this to be mean to anyone. I'm talking in the health department whether you, ha you have too much weight on you or too little weight on you, it can be dangerous. So that's the hard thing about having the good balance. Like, you have to have a good educate. you know, you have to be educated properly by, like, your physician or a diet. You know, one of those, what do they call them? The ones that work with weight, those who are overweight or underweight. But anyway, pediatric, no, I don't know. But you have to get proper information from them for you can learn okay what's healthy for your your circumstance your height your body me i can still lose a little bit of weight and be okay and i've tried to get to at least the 120s for i can you know just be in a good balance i'm close to the 120s like i don't know what the safest weight for me is like, I'm very short. I'm vertically challenged. If I was taller, if I was in the five feet area, I might be at a really good weight where I'm at. But I, I do not know. But I mean, yeah, John, next time wait until she leaves before laughing at the ridiculous. The uniform is ridiculous. I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, honestly, she would have been good with t-shirts and sweatpants. I think, you know, it's, it's, you gotta be comfortable with doing exercise, Ali. I mean, I know some people think, oh, this will help you, but you gotta be comfortable. That, that doesn't look comfortable 
at all. I mean, it might be. I don't know. But to me, I would not be able to wear that and do exercise. I would be better off in my pajamas doing exercise than wearing that thing right there. And the final strip is from... January 11th, 1997, I believe. Ellie, well, this, I'll just narrate it. Ellie is looking at herself in the mirror, obviously. And then so is Lizzie. She's like, what you doing, honey? She's like, trying to figure out a way to make myself look older. Oh, boy. They both have the opposite problem. The same problem, but the opposite problem. Ellie's trying to figure a way to make herself look younger. And Liz is trying to make herself look older. I mean, it's so funny how different ages means different viewpoints. Like, when you're a kid, you're like, oh, how can I make myself look older? I look so young. I'm a kid, you know. I can't wait to get older. When you're an adult, like, I mean, when you're an older adult, you're like, oh my gosh, wh why can't I look the young way I looked? Me, on the other hand, I'm a tad middle there. Well, actually, no, I'm more on Liz, Liz's viewpoint. Somewhat. I have moments where I, my, what is it, the, I balance between both. Like, oh my god, I'm looking older. That, like, like in a bad way. And then, I'm like, oh, I look so young. In the same viewpoint. Like, but then again, I am almost 30 years old, and I look like I could be a teen. So, that is a little bit kind of, like, it's funny. There's certain, I mean, I can understand when you're in your 60s, and you wanted to look maybe your 40s or whatever. Yeah, fine. But when you're just getting into your adulthood, and you look like you're still a child. I mean, there's a creepy story on a 33-year-old who looked like she could play an 11-year-old, and Let's not get into that a little bit. My point being is I am not like that type of person. I don't need to have that really youthful appearance, right? I mean, imagine if I, I was talking to a kid, like, about something, a video game or something, and a pair came up and found out I was 29 and their kid was, like, 12. That would come off the wrong way, like, thinking that I'm trying to, I said, I'm not. It would just be that we have same in interest. So sometimes I kind of wish I looked at least my age. Right? Or at least, even, even if it's a few years younger, like 24 maybe. Because I look like I could get along with a teenager. Right? I look like I could still be in high school. I mean, I admit though, I am starting to age. A little bit. I've noticed, I've been, maybe because I was more looking at myself lately. So I am aging since five seven years ago but it's still not much in comparison to what i should look and maybe maybe it's my height and my hair i don't know maybe if i've used more makeup or cut my hair i might look older i don't know but i said i would almost never use makeup i just maybe i might use stuff for my cheeks you know where blemishes are to cover up blemishes, but I'd have to really look at the ingredients in that. I would not use, like, eyeshadow, lipstick, or real, you know, this, this is some more of a cream, or I don't know, whatever it would be to cover that up. But as I said, like, sort of funny how they're both on the same end, the same idea, something is wrong with them physically, they wish they have the opposite uh, you know, I just feel so. I bet you Ellie's feeling mighty rotten now. Because thinking her daughter's having self esteem issues, only she wishes to look older. And again, teenagers are always like that. Oh, when am I going to grow up? Right? She is about a teen by this point. So she's like, when am I going to grow up? Like, you know, I used to feel that way too, Liz. And even then, I'm not in the worst boat as a lot of adults my age, but still, yeah. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel like what you see, please subscribe. It helps this channel a lot. And don't forget to hit the bell notification so you'll know when new videos are coming out. And I'll see you guys in my next video.